Welcome back, everybody. Just one more day until the Tony Awards and Broadway puts on its biggest show at Radio City Music Hall. Again, that's tomorrow night. CBS 2's Dana Tyler talks with some of the nominees this morning, starting with the show leading the list, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, with 10 nominations. Discretion is the only way that love survives. In A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder, it's Murder Times 8 for Tony nominee Bryce Pinkham, who's trying to kill his way to the family fortune. Tony winner Jefferson Mays plays eight different characters. It's tempting to say it's chaos, and it was initially, but now it's evolved into a ballet. There's music on stage, so we dance our way through the costume changes. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Art Deco inspired costumes are just part of the design in the musical review After Midnight. The woman who designed First Lady Michelle Obama's 2009 inaugural outfit, Isabel Toledo, is now a Tony nominee. Body language is important, so the flow of the fabric following the, the act of that person, and it's almost like an echo of a person, that was important to me, and, and it's something that I love to do in my own work. With seven nominations, After Midnight celebrates the heyday of Harlem's Cotton Club. Women be wise, take my Tony winner Adrian Lennox sings a bluesy showstopper. You really get to feel that you're back in the day and you're catching something of what may have happened. And certainly a lot of the songs in the show are songs that were actually in the Cotton Club Parade. And it's too late, baby, now it's too late. Beautiful, the Carol King musical has seven Tony nominations. Lead actress nominee Jesse Mueller plays the Brooklyn teenager who became a Grammy Award winning songwriter and singer. It's a very inspiring story about a young girl who's extremely talented and grows up and has to fight for where she fits in the world. Douglas McGrath is nominated for a Tony for writing the book for Beautiful. One of the things that surprises people about the show is how funny it is. And nominated for five Tony Awards, Aladdin. Featured actor nominee James Monroe Iglehart plays Genie. Genie is a guy who literally just loves life, um, would love to be free, but even though he's not, he loves life. And whenever he pops out, he just gives a big production number no matter what. Aladdin is directed and choreographed by Tony winner Casey Nicola, who says bringing a beloved Disney classic to the stage is a challenge. I think it's easier to, to adapt something that's lesser known and not as iconic because because you have to, you have to still bring uh, the spirit and the energy and the story of, of what the movie is, but make it your own and make it theater worthy. In a night with Janis Joplin, first time nominee Mary Bridget Davies played the iconic acid rocker who died at the age of 27. It feels great to sing her stuff because it's an emotional release like therapy, having a full out temper tantrum on stage and just loving every second of it. And I think just because I got to play her for so long, I built up that durability. If I take my best Another first time Tony Award nominee is Nick Cordero. He plays Cheech, the hitman turned playwright in Woody Allen's Bullets Over Broadway. Well, to have this happen has been such a, such an amazing culmination of, of so many events, you know, it's just been it's such a dream come true. When a woman loves a man. Five-time Tony Award winner Audrey McDonald is singing the blues in Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. The play with music is about Billie Holiday as she approaches the end of her career and life. It's really challenging because, especially with someone like Billie Holiday, everybody has a very specific idea about who she is and how she sounded in their, you know, in their own mind. Danny Burstein, now a five-time Tony nominee, this year as Herr Schultz in the revival of Cabaret. I never dreamed of anything like this. I just wanted to do good work and have uh, respect of my peers. And, uh, you know, this is a nice pat on the back. It makes you feel like you've got a little bit of that. And this is also Kelly O'Hara's fifth Tony nomination. She plays the Iowa farm wife and mother of two in the Bridges of Madison County. It's the role of my lifetime, in my opinion. I had my second child this year, and this is a woman who has two children. Um, I'm feeling in my career a certain, uh, certain way that, that is informed by what she hasn't had. 
and it's so full for me and so rich and I'm so grateful. And those are just a few of the Tony Award nominees. You'll hear from others, including Neil Patrick Harris, Adina Menzel, Tyne Daly, Chris O'Dowd, and Anika Noni Rose. When I preview the Tony Awards, join me at 7 o'clock tonight for CBS2 at the Tonys. Back to you. All right, Dana, thank you. And you can watch the Tony Awards tomorrow at 8 o'clock from Radio City Music Hall live right here on CBS2. And you can also find some extended, extended interviews with many of the nominees on our website. Just log on to CBSNewYork.com and click on the video tab. And